Earth Island Institute was started in 1982 by David R. Brower. And Mr. Brower, the foremost environmentalist in the 20th century, a modern day John Muir. The Earth Island is an organization with many different projects and some of these projects actually grow to become their own NGO. And one of the projects that David Brower started with David Phillips was the Marine Mammal Project. In the beginning, before we started the Dolphin Project, the problem was that the killing of dolphins happening in the oceans was a big secret. Nobody knew what was happening. The practice of setting nets on dolphins is a huge tragedy, very dangerous and damaging to dolphins. The footage that came from the biologists that we helped go out on a tuna saner and bring that footage to show the world what was happening was so tragic and so demoralizing for people to see, so uh, reckless that it shocked people. Here you had dolphins that were encircled in mile and a half long nets, chased by speedboats to slow down the herds, use of explosives to try to corral the dolphins. And then in these mile and a half long nets, the Persaners would pull those nets in tighter and tighter and catch the entire school of dolphins as a way of catching the tuna that swims beneath. And in that practice, many, many thousands of dolphins, literally millions of dolphins over time were killed. This was the picture before Dolphin Safe started. This was what motivated so many people to get involved in trying to change that. School children, teachers, environmental organizations, lawyers, policymakers, lawmakers from around the world all saying, we need to do something. We need to change this. We need to find a way that the tuna industry to catch tuna that's safe for dolphins. That's what needs to happen, and that's what the Dolphin Project was about. The Earth Island Institute developed a very unique program unlike any other NGO in the world. This program started in 1990 with the signing of the Dolphin Safe Agreements with Starkiss, Chicken in the Sea, and Bumblebee. We have now monitors stationed around the world in Africa, Asia, North America, South America, as well as Europe and the Indian Ocean areas. These monitors go on site, whether it's at the port, on board vessels that are fishing or transshipping. Also, we go into the canneries, the cold storage, and we view all documents and the actual raw fish to make sure it has no evidence of not being dolphin safe. In addition to that, we check for IUU, which is illegal, unregulated, unreported fish. We check for gill nets, drift nets, shark bycatch. All of these issues come into play during our inspections. Sometimes we catch people and companies not doing the right thing and we do corrective actions and non-conformance reports and notify them of this. And at times we've had to suspend the Dolphin Safe Agreement with a certain company, but this is very rare. These companies are the partners for us. And we have over 500 companies now around the world. We have all of these regions participating, which makes 95% of the canned tuna worldwide is dolphin safe with Earth Island. I have been working with Earth Island for over 22 years on the dolphin safe certification project here in Asia Pacific. I work with about nine people here um, two from Indonesia and seven from the Philippines. We cover a large area. We cover China, Vietnam, Korea, Taiwan, Indonesia, Brunei, Malaysia, Papua New Guinea, and of course the Philippines. We have about 180 to 190 companies uh, that we cover in one year. We had to go through all of these companies. How do we monitor for Dolphin Safe? Well, there are three ways. One is port monitoring, one is onboard monitoring, and one is cannery monitoring. For the onboard monitoring, we actually have people aboard fishing boats going out to the sea to join the fishermen and in their fishing operations. They observe the entire fish catch and they try to record the conditions on how the tuna was caught by the fishing company. 
For port monitoring, we see the fish that is being unloaded to the ports from the fishing boats. And then we follow this at the cannery level and we check the fish while it is being processed and ultimately being uh, turned into finished products. So every step of the way, our project here in the Philippines can trace tuna products from the fishing companies until the final product. In 1990, when the first Dolphin Safe Tuna ever rolled off the lines, the first label ever was on this particular can from Starkist Tuna, showing that the largest tuna company in the world had set a standard. And that standard has now extended to more than 500 companies around the world covering 95% of the world canned tuna supply. It's been amazing growth. The tuna industry has complied with rules and regulations that have led to laws in the United States for what dolphin safe means and around the world. And it's had a huge effect in protecting dolphins. And at the same time, it's been hugely beneficial for the tuna industry because it has shown consumers that they can trust that the label on the can means that it's dolphin safe and that if they're buying tuna, that they can have confidence that it's actually caught without harming dolphins. Here we are in front of Safeway, and the Safeway chain of retail stores was the very first to ever sign a dolphin safe policy with the Earth Island Institute for all their canned tuna products. For 24 years, this company has adhered to dolphin safe tuna without any deviation. Here I hold a can of this tuna right now. It's responsibly caught and it's dolphin safe under the Earth Island guidelines. When uh, we started the project uh, in Europe, we were meeting companies and uh, they were not aware at all about the issue of marine mammals uh, bycatch in the tuna industry. Uh, most of them were not even aware of the fishing method used uh, by, the, by their suppliers uh, to fish the tuna. So many things have changed since then and now sustainability is a, is a major concern of most of the tuna and seafood industries. And uh, in this sense the Dolphin Safe monitoring program has played a very important role in the sustainable seafood arena uh, and it has been the precursor of all other uh, similar certifications. We have several countries that continue to kill dolphins and are not a part of our Dolphin Safe program. So we've got our work cut out for us to bring them in on things. Not only are they killing dolphins, they're also trying to undermine the protections of the Dolphin Safe program by trying to change the definition of what Dolphin Safe means. They've been doing this in Congress, they've been doing this in the courts, and they've been doing it with the World Trade Organization. So, We've still got a ways to go. We've still got fights on our hands over what is dolphin safe and what dolphin safe means. We think it means no hunting, no chasing, and no encircling of dolphins with any nets whatsoever. That's dolphin safe. And other types of methods of tuna fishing that harm dolphins are simply not acceptable. Some developing countries have gill net fisheries that is not compliant with Earth Island Dolphin Safe. We are helping governments and companies in these countries to be more compliant to the dolphin safe standard. So they have to get rid of their gillnet fisheries, for instance. They have to get rid of their shark fisheries, for instance. So it, uh, dolphin safe doesn't necessarily just mean dolphins. We also contribute to the sustainability of a fisheries. Dolphin safe has been a pioneer in bringing on new forms of labeling and new forms of conservation that go beyond dolphin safe. We're very excited to be working with Friend of the Sea on efforts about sustainability to make sure that not just dolphins are protected, but that we're also working to be part of the effort to protect the tuna to make sure that tuna is harvested sustainably and that there isn't bycatch of sharks and turtles and other animals besides dolphins. So we urge you to support Earth Island Institute and in our monitoring program. We urge you to buy dolphin safe tuna. The cans have the dolphin safe label on it. If you're not sure, you can go to our website, dolphinsafe.org, and you can look on that for our list of companies that are truly dolphin safe. Sometimes people ask, well, okay, this dolphin safe label is there, but does it really work? Has it really made a difference? And the answer is it's made a huge difference. It has brought dolphin mortality down by more than 95%.
It has revolutionized a change in the way the tuna industry operates. And that's spread around the world. It has created a consciousness in the tuna industry about what steps they can and have been willing to make to protect dolphins. And it has also paved the way for a whole new uh, concern for bycatch, sharks, turtles, for protecting tuna species, for having an industry that is more concerned about all the elements of how they operate and the sustainability of those products. Since many, many decades we are working successfully with Earth Island together and that also it has been proven that, that due to scientific data the reduction of dolphin safe mortality has been reduced significantly and um, that uh, basically this is uh, absolutely a, a super target uh, which we reached but nowadays also there's different request to Earth Island from the market and we also need the, to pay attention to this one. Anfaco Secopesca is proud to collaborate with the Earth Island Institute to show that our good quality products are also sourced in a responsible way. We have always considered the issue of sustainability to be very important to continue our industrial activity. For this reason, we are very glad to confirm our association with the dolphin safe requirements of the Earth Island Institute and look forward to working on this project in the future. Today, all around the world recognize that Earth Islands has played a major role in conserving our dolphins. And Thailand is proud to be a partner with the Earth Island as of today and in the future. I congratulate everyone at the Earth Island Institute for the success of the Dolphin Safe program. And it is, I can say that it is difficult for me to imagine that there will ever be another logo that is mandatory to can tuna brands over the world. Built the first tuna cannery in the Philippines back in 77. And it of course also was the Dolphin Safe. And uh, now, of course, we know the Philippines and Thailand are the two major producers of canned fish. I then moved on to uh, Vietnam in 2000 and built the cannery here just outside of Ho, Ho Chi Minh. And again, is Dr. Dolphin safe? Congratulations to Earth Island uh, in celebrating its 25th year, I have seen the efforts of the group for the past 20 years of my tuna, tuna career. And uh, they have made uh, a long way already in, in, in sustaining the, the advocacy of uh, protecting the dolphin. There's a lot of work that we need in the future and we're going to continue that work. One of the things we learned from our founder, David Brower, is to always uh, be in there pitching and to always uh, be working and to never give up. And so we're going to continue that effort and continue the efforts for the dolphins as long as we can. Mm -hmm.